Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and welcome back to another Wonder Studio video. Now, I have been spending a couple of days to kind of just test some stuff out, some use cases for this kind of app right here. So that's what I'm gonna do today, just kind of share you my findings and talk about it a little bit. So that being said, what I'll do is I'll go to DaVinci Resolve because I actually have them kind of like on top of each other so you can see the actual before and after a little bit better. So the first one we're gonna be taking a look at is an underwater footage. So let me press play right here. So you can see the result. And you're gonna see the after kind of fade in a little bit. All right. Pretty crazy. So I was again shocked at that result that I got. Now you saw that it kind of freaked out towards the end. It got confused as far as the mocap data went because she kind of went like on her back and started to flip backwards in a weird way. And I don't think the entire body was being shown, but it didn't work quite a hundred percent, I wouldn't say, but man, my mind was still blown taking a look at this image right here. And I'm gonna press escape because I'll mute the before for now. And then I'll press control F and I'll rewind it so you can see it. So here is the after. All I did here, again, click, wait, and it spits out this um, video for me. It's so good because, I mean, tiles, they're pretty hard to do. Underwater, slow motion footage. Oh man, it, it's crazy, it's crazy to me. So the next one we're gonna take a look at is another underwater footage. So again, I'll just go Control F and I will press play. Now this one, there's a lot of stuff going on in here and I really wanted to test it out. But aside for some rays and stuff popping in and out, I think it did a pretty good job once again, All right? So space bar, All right, so that's that one. And I'm gonna mute this and I'll set all the opacity all the way up and then press play. Now this was tricky because the AI is pretty much masking everything out and creating it on its own background plate, but it's tricky, I think, in my opinion. It, it was tricky because all these rays of lights aren't just static. If you watch closely, they are constantly moving. In, in my opinion, for a one-click solution, it did a pretty darn good job creating, you know, masking their character out and creating an empty plate for it. This is, this is crazy, man. This is insane. All right, so let's go to my third example. And I'll enable this, press Control F, and let's press play. All right, so here they come. Okay, so for this one, what I wanted to test out was multiple characters in the scene. So I'll press play here. So we had three in there. Okay, and I wanted to show this one because again, it's not perfect. I want to, I want to show you kind of like the limitations of it. The first one you're going to notice is that clothing, hair, so important because you're going to see it popping in and out right here because I think her hair is like, yeah, you can see her, whatever, ponytail whipping in and out. That's one. The second one you're going to notice is a occlusion. Since it's only relying with one camera, data from one camera, which is the front camera, once this person is blocking the other person behind, that's it, game over, All right? Multiple 
occlusion happened there. There were so many people swapping places. It was insane. Now, what I didn't really expect Wonder Studio to do was be able to find the same character and track it from one place to another with everything going on, everybody moving around. All right, so watch this character right here on the right. I'm going to go left. It tracked it from left to right, even though there's a lot of people passing. So it, it did a pretty darn good job tracking where that person was going. But again, occlusion. This girl was covering her, so she was kind of popping in and out, popping in and out. This is such a cool test. And again, right here, occlusion behind. Loose clothing, not ideal, obviously, for this. But this is why I am making this video, because I want to showcase the strong things about this app and the weak things about this app. And what's cool about this is Wonder Studio, I, I love it when companies do this. You know, whenever, whenever I get access to something like a beta, I always ask, what's the deal? Now, what can I say? What can I not say? They're like, dude, just do your thing. I love that because now you're getting this filtered free. I'm showing you the limitations here. Love it when com company does that because it's so transparent to the users. It's still impressive. Now, I could try for all of them. That, that's just another video that I'm going to try. Um, but the next one that I'm going to show you right now is the one I posted on Twitter. This right here. This is bananas. All right, so here's a fight scene. Crazy for a lot of reasons. Again, when I'm choosing the footage that I to use with Warner Studio, now it's not like, oh, you know, everything is good, clear. Nah, I chose this because that's occlusion. I want to know what it's going to do when this is covering the actor. This is really good because what I can do now technically is whenever they give you the camera track is you can now just mask this back in there and now it's gonna cover the character again. That's an easy fix. But the mocap and also obviously the legs, the mocap also, again, for having one camera, is insane and i think i can safely say i've seen inertial mocap suits worse than this one camera ai mocap y'all and another thing that i wanted to test out is motion blur this is full of motion blur right here look at that right here you can see the motion blur Man, to think that this is only Gen 1. That's just crazy. And once again, just to remind, to remind people, you can get the Blender scene file out of this. You're going to get the high poly model with the mocap in there, and then you can apply the textures later. You can have the AI mocap. You can download that FBX if you just want the mocap. Clean plate, alpha mask. Later on, the character passes are going to come soon, and then the camera tracking. That, that's, that's it. That's all I got for this video. If you have any other use cases that you want me to try, I have a, I have a list of what I'm going to be testing this on. If you want me to try any other one, just let me know in the comments below, man, and we'll, we'll see what we can do.